Vanessa Zamora. I'm here at PubCon Las Vegas 2008. We're here at PubCon Las Vegas 2008. And joining me now is Jane Coplin of SEO Moz. Hi. Thank you for joining no us problem. and taking the time. Absolutely. So you are a search marketing consultant, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. Uh, what are some of your other responsibilities there at SEO Moz? Um, well, apart from the uh, <clears throat> consulting work that I do, um, my main day-to-day -day task is I manage the Q&A forum on our site. So um, if you're a pro member, paying member, um, you can come in and you can ask two questions per month or one private question and it will be answered by me or by some other member of our team who specializes in whatever subject um, that you've, you've asked about, you know, web development, SEO, um, basically it, anything marginally related to internet marketing. And so I manage that. I answer the majority of the questions um, myself or if I can't answer them, I will assign them to somebody else. Okay. Um, we that is, sometimes gets to be a pretty heavy workload because it, as our membership grows, obviously the oh, absolutely. Um, number of people asking questions grows. And um, I also do a fair bit of blogging on our site. I also blog for seochicks.com. Okay. Um, yeah, and that takes up a fair amount of time too because I'm quite a perfectionist with mm -hmm. the writing and stuff. So um, there's that and then um, yeah, regular day-to-day -day consulting work with clients. So at SEO Moz, because some of our viewers may not know, um, you do offer, there's the free uh, part of yeah. the site, and then what you were referring to is the, the pro member, which mm -hmm. is, it's what, uh, $79.99? $79.99 a month. A yes. month, okay, and then there's and different that, deals throughout, um, if you, you know, go for a year-long membership, and then there's different levels as well, like, um, you know, if you're sort of a one-man band or if you're a bigger enterprise level okay. organization as well. Okay. So um, one of the recent advancements or one of the releases you've had, which is pretty huge, is the uh, Linkscape tool. Yeah. And I saw it, I think, uh, not on the blog. I saw, well, I saw it a number of places. So mm -hmm. uh, can you give us a little bit more information about what that is? Um, it's basically, it's a, an index of the web. Okay. Um, it's, it started off you know, at, a, at a reasonably good size when we launched it. Um, in its beta format at SMX East about two months ago or okay. a month and a half ago. Um, we're continuing to grow it. It's um, basically, we've, we thought, and, and Rand has thought this for a long time, long before I started working at SEO Mars, that um, the information that search engines have available to them should be available to everybody um, mm -hmm. in the best format that we can provide. And so he started on this project and it's been you know, a long time coming to um, the launch date a few couple of months ago. Um, it's uh, it's an index of the web, but it's not content based. It's all link based, um, but it, it takes okay. into account title tags and things like that. But none of the actual content on the page, so it's not a search engine in mm -hmm. and of itself. Um, the information that you can get from it are all the links that point to a certain um, page or a domain. Um, we have our own metrics as to how much we call it Moz rank is passed, and we have Moz trust, and all these sort of these different measures, uh, which are obviously a lot like what search engines do. Um, we uh, we will show you things like um, URLs and domains that are redirected to your site, whether it be a, a 301 or a 302, and you could never find that out before without sort of manually looking for them. Mm -hmm. So, and that's actually I think been pretty valuable when looking at why certain things are happening. Um, show you if your links are from images, what the anchor text is, what percentage anchor text you have, like, you know, say 32% of your links are, say, Webmaster World, and then 25% say PubCon, you know, et cetera, down to the ones that say click here. So you can look at where all the anchor text is coming from, um, and how much trust and how much um, strength and authority is passed through those links with those anchor texts. So you can mm, get really deep down inside definitely. it. Definitely. Yeah. Very valuable. Yeah, it's, it was pretty exciting. Pretty intense as well. How yeah. long was that in the working? Ah, oh, gee, um, well, over over a year, I think maybe wow. more. I mean, Rain has been planning it and thinking about mm -hmm. doing it for years, like long before I got there. And I was, I've been here two years now. Okay. Um, but for development <clears throat> time, you know, I think eighteen months, or something like that. Wow. Yeah. Excellent. I might be making that up. I'm, I think so. so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We won't quote you on it. Yeah. But. So how important is, is having a blog, do you think, to companies? It's, it's obviously very time consuming. How yeah. do companies justify having a blog? Well, I mean, our blog, we have so many people who update it. So it is updated daily, yes. but it's tough. You know, you want to put out good content, especially when you have tens of thousands of readers. Mm -hmm. um, you have to make sure that, well, we have a blogging schedule, so I'm supposed to write on a Wednesday, although I've been traveling so much, I've been bad lately, but um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know, Rebecca writes on a Tuesday, then she mm -hmm. does the roundup on a Thursday. So we, you, you have to get into a routine. You do. In terms of um, how valuable they are, I think that 
it is valuable, especially for the link building um, aspect. You know, people link to blog posts, which you know, and they say the rising tide lifts all ships. So the, the links, all the links to your blog, they're helping your domain or your commercial property as well. But um, I, I think I'm actually an interesting person to have on a blogging panel because I have mixed views about certain things that happen. And well, I hate the word blog, blogosphere. I think it's a terrible word, but I, I don't. Sometimes I look at what's going on out there and I think this is like airing dirty laundry in public and it's not necessarily <laughs> a good thing. So I'm probably going to be a, an interesting person to have on that panel. But well, it'll um, be good, I think. You'll, yeah. you'll bring another dynamic. Because I can see all of the huge positives to it, but yes. when it, there's a, I'm sure you, you know, there's a, um, there are ways that blogging um, communities can go that get very nasty. Yeah. And that's, that downside sort of is... Well, it's not it's not good for for us as as SEOs or people you know online um, people in the online community in general. So. Oh, absolutely. Well, just with anything that's right, you can abuse it and yeah, yeah. Well, this week I, or today actually, I just started interviewing. I've been asking mm -hmm. sort of people. I know you're here to speak, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of times, especially attendees, come with sort of a goal in mind. Yeah. Whether it's to meet someone they've been you know following or mm -hmm. or just have they have a question that they need answered. Is there anything yeah. here that you're looking to achieve in the, within this week? Um, things to achieve within this week. I think that um, I actually learn a, a lot from when I speak because I think when you are on a panel. Um, you pay more attention to what you're seeing other people do, not not just on the panel that you're um, that you're going to be speaking on, but the, all of them. And you sort of you notice what uh, one example I would say is um, some people have really great content, but their their delivery is so poor that you you get bored and you don't listen anymore. Mm -hmm. And so I think that one of the goals that I came here with as a speaker was to try and tie together how really good content can be delivered in a way that people actually listen, and not just in terms of um, the presentation that you give, but how you give it. I think that's of maximum importance. Absolutely. Um, in terms of things to take away, I think just, you know, I would like to start forcing myself to go to some sessions and tracks that I'm not necessarily involved in, like affiliate marketing, PPC. I have very, very little PPC experience. Mm -hmm. um, SEO Mars is pretty much known for being organic, organic, organic. Yes. I mean, Linkscape is completely based around organic rankings. So yes. um, I should start to go to some of those sessions, but it's it's so tempting. You know, you'll see something like it, organically SEO focused and you'll be like, oh, but I could go to that and not learn as much as you would if you went to something more, uh, a little bit more diverse. Absolutely. Well, it, it's it's a good strategy, I think. Yeah. And <laughs> it'll mix things up, if anything, that, or I guess you can always walk out, huh? Yeah, and you, you do see people. It's, <laughs> It's a little bit disconcerting when we see people walking out of your session. Please don't walk out of my session. <laughs> <laughs> I get distracted and I'm like, oh. oh. Where, where, where are you going? <laughs> you know, then you end up calling the person out. You're like, oh, oh okay, bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> nice. All right, Jane. Well, we're about out of time here. Um, thank you so much for taking yeah, time to be you. with us. And have fun in Vegas. Thanks. Rides his, rides his scooter to work and comes in with his big bike helmet on. And the first time I saw that was a bit weird. I was like, what on earth is going on? So, and anyway, actually, our offices are above a brewery now. So, oh, nice. Yeah, Tempting. Brew pub downstairs. Yeah, sometimes on Friday afternoons you'll think, uh, geez, you know, it's too bad I've got to drive my car home. Yeah, work, beer, work, beer. It's right down there. So, yeah.